Let's turn to business now. Madison Reedy joins us in the studio. So, retirement village operator Ryman Healthcare has released its half yearly report. Is there money in looking after old people? There is a lot of it, Lisa. I think that we're in the wrong industry. <laughs> so, Ryman Healthcare is the country's largest retirement village operator and they released their half year result to the market today. So, that's their six months uh, financial, financial season uh, to September. So, their net profit after tax was 170 million. Sounds like a lot, but it was actually down about 16%. Now that's because it lost uh, some of the valuation gains in its properties that it gained last year. But to them, that that's not kind of all, all the be all, be all and end all there. Their underlying profit was actually up about 14%. So on the other side of that, actually up the same uh, to 97 million. Now that was ahead of its own expectations and market expectations too. So now the company says we are in complete growth mode. So they have more cash in their reserves. They've got about 218 million bucks sitting there to use. They've bought a new site in Melbourne. So they've got a few developments underway in Melbourne and Australia at the moment. They've bought a new one and they also have plans to lodge some new building consents in New Zealand. They've got about three of them that they're looking to, to lodge. And is the healthy outlook just simply because we're an ageing population and there are more customers, so to speak? Exactly. And it seems that a lot of them also want to move into that aged care facility type uh, type uh, building as well because it's not just necessarily a retirement village, but Ryman kind of has has led, led, led the front on also having aged care facilities so that as sad as it sounds, as they kind of age, they, there is that hospital care for them there uh, on the side as well. Right, gotcha. Uh, financial advisors, they're not going to be getting any freebie trips around the globe, no sort of um, tropical island holidays. What's going on there? Well, they won't be if they're working for the company Sovereign. So Sovereign, uh, which is the largest life insurance company in New Zealand, uh, they came out today saying that they're axing it. Uh, so they're getting rid of that sales incentive uh, late next year. Now, uh, Sovereign is owned by AIA, which is uh, a a Hong Kong based insurance firm and they told all of their staff about that and also their external uh, financial advisors they said they reacted all pretty well to it and that they're pretty encouraged by it but it really comes as no surprise that a sovereign or any life insurance company should be doing this uh, given that a financial markets authority report basically told them to do this uh, and found problems with such a sales incentive back in 2016. So, so these are frontline staff are they Madison who sell insurance to you me and the next person when they meet their target Sometimes they would get exotic trips as a reward. Am I reading that right? Yes, yeah. you are. Okay. So scrapped, same way that the banks are being encouraged to get rid of it. Yeah, very much so. Very similar and also the same regulators behind all of this. So obviously the theme here is to, to create better outcomes for customers. And with things like life insurance, I mean, some people have sold them as a necessity and you know there, there are kind of some sometimes some, some dodgy uh, ways around, around that they're sold. And particularly what they found with uh, trips, which are called soft commissions, they found that uh, uh, life Life insurers were twice as likely uh, to to claw back someone's policy and replace it again if they had a, a trip kind of dangling in front of them on offer. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, and what about the markets today? Uh, the NZX Top 50 index closed up just 0.02% uh, tonight, so that's just two points to close at 8,719 New Zealand dollars, buying at 68 US cents, 93.8 to the Australian and 52.8 British pence. Thank you. That is Madison Reedy with our business update.